Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we're gonna to build something kind of unique. <laughs> I'm always looking for new ways to build a portable power station because these things have been so handy for me to have around the homestead. So today we're gonna to build one that is very portable but also very powerful, that's the plan. We want a lot of power, we want a lot of portability. I'm not gonna focus a lot on solar recharging. We're gonna just have this one be plug in to the outlet recharging, but hopefully we'll be able to power most everything I want it to power. So we're gonna test it at the end here. Let me show what we've got, what the plan is, and then we'll get right to it. We have two of these Golden Mate lithium iron phosphate batteries. These things are amazing. Uh, I've used this brand in particular in the past and we absolutely love them. They've been very durable. So we're gonna use two of these. They're 12 volt. Uh, these are each 100 amp hours uh, each battery. And I have this old suitcase. This was a suitcase I used uh, in the military when I was traveling around. But it's a little, you know, it's a little beat up. It's not something that we use anymore. What if I could convert this into a portable power station where I could just maybe have some cords that you could unzip and pull out and, uh, and power what you needed, put the cords back away. It's already got a handle on it. It's already got wheels on it. And so all I need to do is figure out how to mount everything inside and make it all work. We'll give you a full tour of everything and how it works at the end. But for now, let's dig right in and get this thing put together. in their backwards.
Well, there it is. One of the most magical little creations I've ever made. <laughs> this is a this is a pretty cool. It's all pretty pretty tight in there. Um, I could probably probably zip the the expander down. So it's all pretty it's all pretty snug in there. It, it fits just perfectly. The two Golden Mate 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries, one on top of another. We've got the little wooden divider in between, and I've got the 3,000 watt inverter right on the on the front side of everything. So the idea is you unzip the front little pocket here and pull out your connection. So I've just got one uh, AC outlet extension that would come out right here so you can plug a three-way into this or, or whatever if you want more outlets got a phone charger you could also use a, a usb extension off the bottom of the inverter and then i have the uh, charging port so this is how you charge it i actually have a couple of these little chargers now these are super slow chargers so this is a, a trickle charger really uh, but they're they're cheap uh, so you're not going to charge this thing super quick, but overnight it'll charge uh, and so it basically comes with these little connectors So I've got one wired right into uh, the battery bank and then all I have to do is just pull this out You know hook this into an outlet and then just plug this thing in and it'll charge it up This is actually good for lead acid batteries and uh, the lithium iron phosphate batteries So you just have to select which which type of battery you're, you're charging. So I've got a couple of these, these are nice. And then that way it keeps a trickle charge and it's a good maintainer. So you can actually see the little uh, LED from the inverter. It'll tell you my battery uh, percentage and everything right through the pocket here. We can in, unzip the, the top. Whenever we're using this, uh, this will stay open because you've got the fans right here and you wanna make sure all the heat can get out of this thing. I did break my, uh, I, I, I cracked the, the covers for both of these terminals and the inverter because I used a thicker cable. Um, I bought these cables. This is a zero gauge, I think. And what it came with, the longer one that the inverter came with, I actually used to connect the two batteries together. I had purchased a bunch of these uh, two gauge cables on Amazon. And they this is a one foot cable and it was just not long enough to get from the terminal on one battery to the terminal on the other battery. And so I ended up not being able to use those. And I also have a, a little surge protector stored in here. So if we wanna add uh, extra extra outlets, we can. And everything can be dismantled pretty easily. I can unzip this and I can take the inverter off. I can take the batteries out, disconnect things pretty easily. But the nice thing about the, the Golden Mate batteries, these uh, lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate batteries is that they don't need to stay upright. So this thing can lay down. Uh, it's not really good for them to run upside down, but you can lay this thing down. I can lay this thing on its side. You know, I can tilt this around. I can pull the, the handle up and I can tote this thing around and the batteries are fine. There's no liquid in them. And so that's not gonna, and there's no off gassing or anything like that. Now, if I ran this thing hard for a long period of time out in the sun or something like that with this black suitcase, it, it's possible it could get too hot. But there is a good, there is a gap on each side of the batteries. There's a small gap along the top, and there's a there's air gaps along the back side of it, because where these bars fit in, it creates a bunch of channels down the back, and then there's a gap at the bottom. So I think with the fans here blowing air, I can't, I don't know if these blow air down or or out, but it should actually cycle some air through here. So I, I think actually if I keep this thing zipped up about halfway, it'll actually. Um, kind of cycle air through this thing pretty good. We'll see. Uh, obviously, you don't want to leave it out in the sun if it's 100 degrees. The backpack power station. <laughs> this thing's pretty cool. It fit in there just perfectly. So I'll actually put a link. I'll try to find this is a Samsonite uh, back or uh, uh, suitcase. I'll actually see if I can find this exact same one on Amazon if you if you want to recreate this exactly. But with a little bit of woodwork, you could fit these type of batteries. You have smaller batteries or bigger batteries in really any size suitcase, whatever it'll fit in. You could use wood to put spacers along the side and, and uh, spacers in between and size things out. You could, even in a bigger suitcase, you could have a little more space. Well, now that we have this all put together, let's put it to the test. What can we run with a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter with two 12 volt, 100 amp Golden Mate batteries? Let's see what we can, what we can run. 
we'll see if we can run a table saw. We'll see if we can run a circular saw. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can run an air compressor. Uh, and we'll see what other power tools we can run. So let's plug this thing in. It's raining outside, so I'm not taking it outside today, but we'll, we'll leave it in the shop here. We'll plug some things in, see what we can run. Wow. <laughs> It quite easily ran the uh, air compressor. It only drew uh, 1,500 watts to start, and then it wound down to about 1,000. Um, as it started to build uh, air pressure in here, it was drawn a little bit more, but easily handled that. It didn't even didn't even kick the fans on on the inverter. I wonder if it could handle the table saw. Oh, I handled the table saw no problem as well. So I don't think I'm gonna have any problem running just about any tool I have. This should handle anything that a 20 amp circuit would handle. So 3000 watts uh, and it actually I think will peak higher than that. The batteries will also peak higher than their 200 amp pull. The BMS, the battery maintenance system in these uh, Golden Mate batteries, it'll protect these from overdraw. So if you try to draw too much power at once, it will uh, if it's for any sustained period of time, it'll actually kill the batteries for a second. So the battery maintenance system is really important with these uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. It'll help help keep your batteries lasting a long time. I know I'm gonna get this question. There's no fuses in here anywhere. So I only have a wire from the bottom battery to the top battery, and then from the top battery to the inverter. There's really no place to put a fuse in here. If I overdraw from this, this thing's gonna trip. If I overdraw from the batteries, the BMS is gonna limit the battery draw. Now, if these terminals came off in short circuit, the BMS should, in theory, stop that from uh, you know, melting these things down as well. So I'll briefly talk about why I wired the batteries the way that I did. So I have the bottom battery here that has the charging terminal come off of it. So this is my little charging terminal that comes off the bottom battery. Got a positive on this side and a negative on this side. And then I loop up negative here and it runs up behind the back here and then runs up to the negative here. So this makes this a parallel battery bank, which just doubles my capacity and doubles my amp draw. So it's a hundred amp draw max on one battery with, with them wired in parallels. I can get 200 amps as a max draw. And I'm also gonna get 200 amp hours total. So I'll get a much longer lasting uh, amount of power out of these. Then I have the draw for the inverter. I have this zero gauge cable coming right off the top of the battery banks. Now a lot of people are gonna say, you should draw off the negative down here and the positive up there or the, neg or the posit or negative on this side and the positive on this battery. However, I don't think that that's true at all anymore with the battery, with the BMS systems in these uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. If you have good quality batteries, and it even says right in the instructions, this is how you should properly wire these in a parallel connection. Now I did put the charging cables connected to the lower battery. Ideally, in a parallel configuration like this, you'd use one of these, um, these blocks. I bought these, this is really nice, uh, These uh, I bought these off Amazon, and I planned on using these in here somehow. However, I just couldn't find any space for them. <laughs> the wires are, these thick wires are so hard to bend around anything. I, I almost found a spot on the side of each battery, but I couldn't get the wires to fit in here properly, and so I decided to, to just uh, use these on, a, on another project sometime down the road. This also, this inverter, uh, it is kind of a pain in the butt to unzip this whole thing, take it apart to turn it on and off but this does come with a remote. Uh, unfortunately, it, it takes a strange battery, so I had to order one off Amazon, but this ideally I will be able to put in the front pocket of this and uh, I'll be able to just turn the, the inverter on and off with the remote so I won't have to unzip this and get in here.
well, we have successfully built a, a pretty inexpensive uh, and extremely powerful 3000 watt power station. This can be done for a fraction of the cost of anything that you'd get off the shelf. And I think this would work actually better than some. This is easier to move around. You've got handles on it. It's completely combined. I can throw this in a car. I can throw this in a trailer. I can throw this in my truck. And if I really wanted to make this thing, you know, off road, uh, I could actually put a, a, a better axle across the back of it with some conduit or something and put some larger wheels on it. And this thing could be, could roll around the yard a little easier. So you guys will have to have to let me know what you think. This is one of the neatest little things that I think I've put together uh, just with random things from around the shop and around the house. Uh, the zipper pockets and everything just works really neat. So you can open it up from the top, let the air uh, come out. You can open up the, the lower pocket, pull your cords out, hook things up. And I think this is going to be really handy to have around here. So let me know what you guys think. Of course, I'll put links in the description to the Golden Mate batteries. Those are real nice batteries. I've used some of their smaller uh, 20 amp hour, 50 amp hour, and then now the 100 amp hour uh, batteries, and they've all been very, very good uh, battery systems. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. Let me know what you guys think, and as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.